What's up, YouTube? Dom Universe. Today's topic of discussion is we're going to talk about how everybody is a reflection of yourself. So we all know that everybody is connected. We all share one collect collective consciousness. We are all a projection of the collective consciousness experiencing itself. So that being said, I want to help you all understand with the uh, deeper about this concept. This also helps develop self -lo self love. Now, everybody is a, a a reflection of yourself. So one day on Instagram, I saw a post, and I don't remember what the post said, but somebody commented, and basically what they said was, if if it was a, it was a, a video about Lil Wayne. And he said, let the world be your reflection. Now, I'm going to help you all understand what he meant by that. Now, somebody commented and said something about, along the lines of, if everybody is a, is, if, if you look at the world as a mirror, wouldn't that mean everybody, uh, every, everybody does the same actions as you? Something like that. So, I basically, what I said was, <clears throat> if, if, if you meet somebody, right? Let's say you at work. If you meet, let's say you meet somebody and they complain too much or they lazy. If that person is lazy and complain too much, think about why you keep hearing that coming out their mouth about them complaining or things that they say that indicate that they lazy. Think about why you hear it. The reason everybody's reflection of you is because when you hear stuff like that that lets you know that you are probably lazy when it comes to something in your life either you lazy or you complain too much that's one of the things you got to realize when you when you meet people outside because remember i said you create your own world not everybody is having the same experience on this planet Everybody see the world through their own eyes. You get me? If you're following along, you know that you have your own experience here. Everybody not seeing or thinking or experiencing the same thing as you. That's why I say you you see what you see. You attract what you are and what you want to attract. Your life is a reflection of what and who you are. So, let's say you meet somebody who's angry all the time. That could be an indication that you are angry. So remember, I was having technical difficulties on my channel and I messed up my phone. I couldn't tap anything on my phone, right? So one night I was going to the store. I had an attitude. I was a bit uh, ticked off because my phone was messed up and I couldn't upload a video to YouTube. So while I was at the store, so a guy asked me for 50 cent. I told him I didn't have 50 cent because I don't carry change. So I went in the store, I pur purchased what I was about to purchase. And then he, he jokingly came out of nowhere and said, Oh, I thought you couldn't give me 50 cents, dog. I, me, I was pissed off, but nobody could really tell. So basically what I was I said to him was, If I told you I don't got 50 cents, I don't have 50 cents. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, why am I snapping on this dude? This, this dude didn't do nothing to me. So basically he, basically he said he was just playing. I need to chill out. That was an indication from the universe telling me that I need to chill. You gotta remember, the universe speak to you through people. The universe is itself. The universe, and we are part of the universe. We are the universe experiencing itself. We are the cells of the universe. We all share a consciousness with the universe. That's why I told y'all. Some of the thoughts we have are not our thoughts. They're either other people or the universes or if you low, vibrating at a low frequency, let's say you got fear in you, guilt, shame, ETC, you get in dark or negative or low vibrational thoughts coming through your mind. Now, Lil Wayne said, let the world be a reflection of you. Let the world be your, uh, let the world be your mirror, ETC. Excuse me. That is basically what he meant. Now, you can look at an episode, uh, you can look at this at, Another way you can look at this is what I'm trying to say is the episode of Rick and Morty where, which one is it? Rick, the grandpa, right? He went to a universe and he went to go see his ex. His ex was an extraterrestrial. 
and she was the ruler of a planet or whatever the her name was unity what does unity mean for a bunch of something someone per people places or things to all come together and create one right a whole that's unity what does uni mean one universe universe means one song right she was able to communicate to everybody on that planet because it was a it was a bunch of people on the planet right and she was the ruler of the planet but she was able to speak through all the people everybody on the planet she was able to speak through them and anywhere rick or morty was on the planet she was able to talk to them through the people on the planet so that's another in the, that's another way you can look at it the universe unity unity represented the universe in that uh in that episode of rick and morty y'all gotta realize something this is why the bible says do unto others as others do unto you this is why you supposed to have love for yourself before you can give it out to other people you got to love yourself you got to treat yourself right remember i told you you attract what you are you attract what you are so the type of per the type of person you are is the type of people you will attract into your life this is why you gotta you gotta learn self-love you gotta treat yourself take care of yourself the people that and when you do that and when you having positive thoughts treating yourself good you are going to experience positive things, positive people, positive results, positive things happening to you out of nowhere. All blessings from the universe. What else? That's about that's about it. Oh, yeah, but the Bible. Do unto others as others do unto you. That's why they have the famous quote when you like in school or whatever and the teacher tell you treat others the way you want to be treated. And this is why I say you give what you get or you get what you give and give what you get and it can be said backwards it can be said vice versa etc that's pretty much it though i want y'all to uh practice self-love because it's easy to say you love yourself it's easy as fuck to say you love yourself but be insecure about your flaws or like everybody has pardon me someone called me but basically what I was saying is everybody has had like a flaw or or something or an insecurity about themselves that they didn't like. That indicates you don't have 100% love for yourself because 99% of the time it's about something that's on their body. And we don't have to identify. We, we're not supposed to identify with this body because we don't need it after this life. That's part of the test on this planet. You got to learn to love yourself 100%, period. Or you have, or you're going to have to come back. I'm out here glowing. Y'all better get y'all skin right. Y'all better go vegan. Stop eating that oil, that uh, that uh, that dark meat, that low vibrational meat. I posted a video. Uh, I reposted a video on uh, Instagram. It said, this is what is inside your colon when you eat meat and fish. Yeah, it got they got little pen worms and shit in their colon. Squirming around. See, this why I, <laughs> I if you love yourself, you will go vegan. If you love yourself, you will go vegan. I understand everybody can't go vegan because everybody everybody don't do food shopping. Everybody don't got a job. But I'm telling you right now. Get that meat out of your system. Just stop eating meat. I went to a party one night and I was talking to a group of dudes and they was telling me things like, oh, I can't stop eating meat. It's so good. That, you have a dopamine attachment to meat, but we can talk about dopamine in another video. This video coming into an end. But uh, yeah, I just wanted y'all to know everybody is a reflection of you. Like another another thing I could give y'all to help y'all look at this is every time I've gotten jobs, I run across a person that has a similar issue as me, similar issue or been through the same thing as me. This is why I tell y'all, everybody, every, it don't matter who it is, every human you meet, every person, every person you meet is going to be a reflection of you. 
you see the world through your eyes you can also change people's vision of you and by changing how you see other people changing your vision on somebody else changes their vision on you you may look at somebody as like a depressed person or a sad person one thing i learned a few months ago is a way to make yourself happy especially if you are especially if you look at other people as uh in a bad light if you don't like them or you just they piss you off or whatever you gotta imagine the other person happy you gotta imagine that person happy in your mind in order for you to feel a certain way towards them the universe is a powerful tricky place you gotta but it's it's easy as soon as you learn and understand what's going on around you it's easy to understand maybe not now but as as you raise your frequency as you keep learning everything starts to make sense because you already have pieces of information pieces of information you probably don't know what to do with yet you you probably looking for answers for it the more you raise your level of consciousness the more you will be able to piece more pieces to these pieces of information you got already but that's that's it i love y'all dom universe taking off like subscribe peace